So here are spoilers of this year's beauty advent calendar from Look Fantastic. Now, I recently did a video on more than 30 different beauty advent calendars that you can look forward to uh, during 2018's holiday season. You can either see that here or in the description box below. So that one has some spoilers, but not from Look Fantastic. Now, right before I begin spoilers, I'll say spoiler warning right ahead and you can hit the mute button until you see spoilers done or spoilers over or something written on top here. Now, I can confirm that this year's Look Fantastic Beauty Advent Calendar has a red and gold design, very Gryffindor, very Christmassy, very radically different from previous year's Look Fantastic Advent Calendars. Last year was sort of blurple and uh, very Alice in Wonderland themed. And the previous two years were, you know, white with either gold or rose gold. So this year, red and gold, very new design. Also, the packaging is very compact this year um, in the sense that, you know, there's very little waste of space. And as far as I can tell, very little, you know, sort of junk to be thrown away as well. This can be repurposed as a nice little desk organizer. Uh, you can, you know, use it to store clips and pins and um, hair ties and things like that on your desktop or your vanity. And uh, last year, you know, it was a beautiful uh, box and I love repurposing it as a brush storage box. But the problem was that you had uh, the products individually put inside different boxes, which were then arranged according to size, not according to date, inside those five drawers inside. So what happened was that, you know, there were a few goof ups and this was, this was probably cumbersome for packing it up at their end. So I ended up with the same product that is a hand cream from Crabtree and Evelyn in, uh, on, on dates uh, 19 and 20, oh, I think it was 20 and 21. Um, you can view my unboxing here or in the description box below so you can see where the goof up has happened. This year, I don't really expect there to be any goof ups because the packaging is very compact, very little room for error there. So this year's advent calendar, just like last year's, costs 79 pounds and is worth more than 300 pounds, a huge savings in there. Uh, 25 products, as I said, several full-sized products. Most of the makeup inside is full-sized. Warning, spoilers, right ahead, hit the mute button until you see spoilers over or unmute now, something of the sort written on top here. Now, the products inside are a full-sized Ilamasca highlighter. I told you in my 30 advent calendar preview that there would be Ilamasca in here. There is also uh, an Ico Brow Magic Mascara. I predicted that there would be Ico as well. Uh, there is a Lipstick Queen lipstick, a full-sized sleek eyeshadow palette. What more do you want in an advent calendar? Uh, a dual-ended look fantastic makeup brush, full-sized. Uh, for those who are worried about the quality, I've had two look fantastic beauty, I mean makeup brushes from a beauty box as well as from an advent calendar before. And they've been very good quality, very similar to Real Techniques brushes. I had a blush brush in the advent calendar last year, very nice, similar quality to Real Techniques. So if you like Real Techniques, you like uh, the Look Fantastic one as well. Um, there is also a Douce, Douce, sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce that brand, uh, liquid that is pen felt tipped eyeliner. A brow palette from HD Brows, which hopefully should contain universal shades because I have seen a previous sort of brow palette from HD Brows, which is this one over here, and that contains a brow wax and universal, uh, universally suitable shades for pretty much all skin tones. So hopefully that, that that's the same thing included in here. I wouldn't mind getting a backup at all. And there is what looks like a pencil eyeliner from some brand or the other kind really make out what this one is. I think it's well up here. I can't be absolutely sure there. So one thing that I have noticed here is that apart from foundation and concealer, which would have been logistically near impossible because, uh, you know, those two products, you, people are going to struggle with shade matches, obviously, and there will be huge uh, complaints all over the world. So apart from those two, this contains pretty much every makeup product that you need for a full makeup look. There's eyeshadow palette, full-size lipstick, uh, Ila Mascara highlighter, something for the brows, a makeup brush, mascara and eyeliner in here. So everything you need for a very comprehensive makeup look during the holiday season and beyond. Very nice to see that. Um, now we come to the non-makeup products. As I predicted, there is a Milton Brown Char Gel. I'm not sure what the uh, exact fragrance is, but I love seeing Milton Brown Char Gels. Uh, so, and, and receiving them, they're the best Char Gels on earth. So always happy to get those. There's a Mane and Tail Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. Uh, there's a Kodali Vino Sauce, uh, sorry, Vino Perfect Radiant Serum, which I really like. It's very lightweight and mild for acne-prone and oily skin. 
First Shade Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, possibly the one product in here that I'm not, you know, wowed by because we've seen this so many times before. Uh, it's been in pretty much all advent calendars and beauty boxes previously, so I'm not, you know, proud to see it. But um, not, I mean, it is an iconic product and it works, especially in uh, winter months, so it's not so bad. There's Emma Hardy's facial oil, a small uh, travel size sample. Regenerate, I think it's a toothpaste, it looks like a toothpaste. And something from Grow Gorgeous, I think it's a wash of some sort. Um, Philoga, what looks like a makeup remover from Philoga, something from Rituals, uh, something from Balance Me, I think it's a serum, uh, Multitask Eye Serum Mask from Erno Laszlo, Glam Glows uh, Mask, a uh, little sample over there, this works, a spray from this works, this is another project that we keep seeing all the time, uh, a balm for the hair, the multi-purpose balm from uh, Percy and Reed, and either a cleanser or a mask, I'm sorry, I can't really tell what it is from this picture, from Omarovitz. So once I have the exact spoilers, I shall hit them up in the description box for you. There's also the Espa Overnight Hydration Therapy. I predicted that there would be Espa in here. Now, one thing I can tell you is that... Uh, the calendar will be available on pre-order from the 7th of September and it will start shipping um, from October. So I will have the link where uh, you can buy as soon as it goes live in the description box below. So do check that out and place your order. As far as I can tell, this calendar will ship worldwide just like previous years. Some country exclusions may apply depending on what brands are restricted where. But, you know, this one doesn't contain any electronics or any perfume, so I don't think there should be a huge problem in here. Now, compared to previous year's advent calendars, I'm very pleased to see more makeup, better makeup, bigger makeup than uh, previous year's offerings. I love seeing the full-sized eyeshadow palette in there, a full eye eyeshadow palette and a brow palette. And I can tell you that the brow palette also sort of doubles up as an eyeshadow palette, if it is the same one that I showed you a little ago, a while ago. So... You know, two palettes in there, a lovely Ilamasca highlight and a universal shade, very nice. Love seeing the brush, love getting uh, liquid eyeliners in there because I'm always running out of those kind of eyeliners and those are what I prefer. The skincare, very new, you know, very few repetitions from previous year's advent calendars, as well as, you know, the beauty boxes themselves. Milton Brown, it was always going to be there. So, I'm, and I'm pleased to get Milton Brown. You can't go wrong with Milton Brown. This is a 100ml uh, bottle, so nice, generous size there. So apart from that, you know, the first shade beauty that we've seen before, the Ultra Repair Cream, and so have we seen the Kudali Serum. Apart from these three, I can't really see too many repetitions. Lots of new products in here. We haven't seen the Ico Mascara in previous advent calendars or beauty boxes, nor have we seen that brush or the La Masca uh, highlighter or the sleek eyeshadow palette. Uh, from them and uh, even among the skincare and the bath and body products lots of new offerings here the the filler or guard makeup remover something very new um as is also the on eye serum mask and uh, the glam glow and the omarovitz so some very good brands solid brands and for 79 pounds you know this is a sort of mid-end advent calendar with some very high-end brands including omarovitz and you know it's a very good deal for the price more than 300 pounds worth of products inside you can't go wrong with that sort of price point and i'm very glad to see that they haven't increased the price of the advent calendar overall i mean last year uh liberty's advent calendar was 175 pounds this year's is 195 diptyque was 300 last year and is 320 this year so most brands have actually increased or most companies have actually increased the cost of their advent calendar by 20 pounds this year so look fantastic hasn't done that and i'm very pleased to see that that is a great 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 job from them love the new design and the packaging uh very utilitarian very little wastage very little sort of trash in here um and uh, you know it can be repurposed not very plasticky um, as the first two advent calendars were not very cumbersome either very nice and uh, love the Christmassy look and the sort of very festive feel to this and the products inside I think I can use pretty much everything in here um, I know I haven't gone through everything in detail but as far as I can see I can use pretty much everything in here so that's very nice to see and I'm very excited especially about all the makeup in here lots of goodies this will make a great gift for yourself as well as for somebody else. And what I like doing is whatever is surplus, whatever I cannot use from an advent calendar, I make sort of little hampers 
uh, of those products by putting them all together. And I sort of use them as hostess gifts or in a secret Santas, and they're always very popular. So that's an idea in case there are a few products that you can't really use. So love this. I'm very excited. Can't wait to get my hands on this. I'm one of those people who don't really mind watching spoilers, you know. I mean, I'm, I find the project itself is exciting when I get my hands on it anyway, even if I have seen spoilers, because, you know, reality and uh, photographs are two different things. So I will have an unboxing for you once I get my uh, greedy little posts on this advent calendar. And there will also be sort of daily Instagram updates of this advent calendar and other advent calendars on my Instagram stories uh, once advent begins. So do stay tuned for that by following me on Instagram. That's Cosmetopia Digest for you. We'll also link that in the description box below. So do hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell to stay tuned for my advent calendar unboxing of this one as well as other advent calendars. Um, I can't wait for the advent season. It's my best time, favorite time of the year. So would I call this their best advent calendar so far? Possibly, you know, this one and last year's possibly tied. Um, they are missing Pixie. There was Pixie last year and the year before that, not, not this year. I don't know why that is. Um, I would have liked to see something else from First Jade Beauty instead of the same old Ultra Repair Cream. But, you know, a lot of this is contributed by the brands themselves. They have a huge say in this. So, you know, you can't really blame Look Fantastic for that. You know, their hands were possibly tied. I would also not have liked to see... I mean, I would like to see something else in lieu of the regenerate tooth toothpaste because, you know, toothpaste in a beauty box. I'm one of those um, finicky, conservative, old-fashioned, fuddy-duddy, um, angry people who don't like seeing toothpaste, vitamin supplements, breast creams, uh, feminine wipes and things like that in beauty boxes. Beauty boxes must be a place for makeup and skincare and hair care alone and nothing else. So just being very sort of one-dimensional and narrow-minded here, if you like, that's just my personal preference, but uh, very glad to see a full eyeshadow palette in here. So I think there are some very exciting advent calendars this year, aren't there? So do watch my video on the 30, more than 30, I think it's almost 40 now, uh, beauty advent calendars that we can look forward to this year. And there are some spoilers there as well. And uh, do stay tuned for more unboxings from various advent calendars as well. So once we get our grubby little paws on this one, uh, we can uh, unbox it all together. Do stay tuned for that. And uh, as I said, this is where you go and buy this advent calendar. Just check out the description box below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do hit the subscribe button. And I'll speak to you in my next video.